good afternoon fans welcome to winners chapel worldwide on nature i'm precious by name and today is our covenant day of marriage to breakthrough my word for today's service starts now join me as we find out our worshippers word for today's service the, thank the you encounter was much you know god visit us according to our needs uh, what i the encounter i had was that marriage had been ordained by god and anything that's against the peace of marriage is from the devil and as such it must be resisted and the power of god through christ has been made available to subdue it so with, with that i'm joyful within me that no matter whatever the hell let's lose against my family against my marriage it will not work because god, word of god is there to counter it all so i'm very joyful today's uh, service is a very vital very important to the christendom because if the family is not functioning effectively the entire destiny will be in a kind of uh, shipwreck therefore the uh, marriage that is a uh, liberation of uh, family break family breakthrough or marriage breakthrough is uh, a kind of a thing that we help to build up our family and make uh, uh, the the family comfortable for living not just for living uh, when you have breakthrough in marriage it affects every phase of life like in career when you have breakthrough in marriage because there are some marriages you run into everything about you will get uh, folded uh, by reason of the type of person you married and uh, so if you are breakthrough if you break a uh, breakthrough in marriage it will help you uh, to uh, uh, be progressive in every sphere of life like in career in business in uh, destiny in family and everything so today uh, where it touched me most is that uh, in a family if you must break through in a family you try to leave your size the spouses have to leave their size part time because you may that you live small today does not mean that you remain small you leave your size part time and from there you can expand to any level in life i think that is where it affected me a lot on the word that comes to my way today is that, that our marital life we should make god the center of our marriage and god is at the center of your marriage every other thing becomes secondary hmm? so that's my own understanding of uh, the the message today god's servant has spoken it he has said it clearly that we should not be waiting those that are due to marry you marry based on the covenant don't marry anybody you see remove tradition and culture and they go uh, through the word of god so that you are married with sustain and then uh, you pray for all of us anyone that are having crisis there shall be peace restoration of peace uh, all these things are made up by the word of God. One has to go to the word of God and locate where it pitches you. Huh? Pitches you. Anywhere that is affecting you, go to the word of God and locate it. And then you see God restoring back his glory upon you in that area, especially in the marriage. In the marriage. For the youth that have not married, don't marry anyhow. Don't marry anyhow. After counseling, go to the word of God and go and buy books concerning marriages written by daddy and mommy. Eh? then it will help you eh? and then obedience should be principal thing for you you listen together eh? i'm happy for today's service it's a very good one i thank god for it I thank uh, god. actually today's word was a blessing to my soul i learned a lot of things and today being the covenant day of my two uh, breakthrough uh, the man of god said a lot of things and a particular thing I'm going home with you. Is the two words he said to the female and to the guys. And he said, as a lady, your beauty can get you a husband. But it's your character that will get you a husband. And the aspect of guys, he said, your money can pay the bride price for you. But it's your responsibility that will make you a husband. These are the two things I'm going home with today because it is a big blessing. This service was very great. Um Let's start from the theme of the month revival. 
I don't know, I don't know so much about revival that you have to, unless you are revived. Our pastors talk about that word. If you are not praying 30 minutes prayer as a Christian, you're not a Christian. So, talking about aspect of what marital aspect, it teaches many things that we have to work. Marry your level, marry the person that is your level, follow your level. They give us advice about what marriage that some people are not following their what friends. Talk about what that one know the kind of friends you are you are you are you are, you are, you are associating with what when you're in marriage follow your friend level it gives this advice to women women mostly that every woman should want mind the kind of woman is following as a friend maybe your husband can give you two thousand there and then the one will give you one hundred thousand there to buy something no if you're from the kind person you will pressurize your husband and that time they will enter, enter the family and what and destroy the family so the what i learned today is what marry your friend thank you guys for joining me in finding out our worship password for today's service and do well to please drop your own word in the comment section and please do not forget to like follow and share more importantly share do not forget to share bye